everyone! So the first thing I got for university is this Kanken backpack. I bought this from Urban Outfitters and it's in the colour frost green. It was for £75 and even though I'm not really a backpack person, I've never actually used a backpack before for college or school, but 90% of my friends told me it's much easier to get a backpack for university, especially if you're going to be carrying a laptop, it's going to be quite heavy and you're probably going to have a lot of stuff with you to take to university and it just means that all the weight isn't on one shoulder. So it has many pockets, it has a front pocket and it has side pockets for water bottles and things like that and then it has a laptop sleeve inside as well. The next thing I got was this notebook which is it's actually silver but it reflects all these different holographic colours and I got this from the works it was only four pounds so there's just plain lion paper on the inside I thought it was really pretty there was one in gold as well which I really wanted to get but I didn't think I'd actually use two so that's it the next thing I got was this water bottle I got this water bottle from Primark and it was only two pounds it was five pounds before but I got it for two and I just thought it was really pretty it had this crushed glass kind of design which I really like and it also has a handle thingy which means it's just easier to carry it is only a 500 milliliter bottle which I was really annoyed about but oh well it was two pounds really gross the next thing I got was this pencil case. This pencil case I got from Wilco. It was only three pounds. It has this blue kind of leather on the top and bottom and in the middle it's clear and reflects holographic colors, kind of like the journal. So the thing that I like about this is that it's flat. I really like flat pencil cases. I think they take up less space. And um, as I said, this was just three pounds. The next thing I bought were these Zebra Ballpoint black pens. These were only one pound fifty, and I've used these before. They're really smooth to write with. I also got same Zebra pens in the coloured pack. I don't really use that many colours to revise with, but it's really handy to have coloured pens in your pencil case anyway. I'm not sure if I said this before, but both the black pens and these ones are from Wilco and they were for £1.50. The next thing I got were these highlighters. These highlighters I got from Ryman. They were for £2.49 and I just really like them because they're thin. They're not those chunky rectangular highlighters, which means they just fit more easily into your pencil case and they don't take up as much space. And there were five of these in the pack. The next thing I got were these pencils. These pencils were from Wilco. There's six pencils in the pack and these were only 29p. I repeat, these were only 29p. And the thing I like about them the most is that they have these little sayings on the side. So this one says, stop dreaming, start doing. This one over here says, I can and I will. Work hard, dream big. So I just thought, they were great. The next thing I bought were some refill pads. These refill pads were only a pound each, they were from the works and uh, even though they were only one pound each they were actually doing buy one get one half price. I got the two of them for one pound fifty and that means they costed me about 75p each whereas in WH Smith I had a look they were for about two pound something each so I thought that was a bargain and I got them from the works. Next thing I got is this zipper bag. It's just a plastic bag with one of those zips on the top. And I got this just to put any loose sheets of paper. I'm very good at collecting loads of loose sheets of paper and then leaving them in my bag to crumple up. So I don't want to do that anymore. And this was only 40p from Wilco. I also got another one of these zipper bags in a smaller size. This one is A6 and it was 30p. Um, I got this because I thought I might want to use it to maybe put revision cards or maybe something like putting my earphones in so they don't get tangled up with the rest of the contents of my bag but I don't know I'm not sure what I'm going to use it for yet but I just bought it because I knew I'd think of something to use it for. 
Then I've got this plastic folder, also from Wilco. This was for one pound, and for the same purpose really, just to put in loose sheets of paper, things like that, that I want to keep in one place and I don't want them to bend. So there were loads of different colors, but I chose to get the blue one. Then I got this Tipex Pocket Mouse. Oh my God, if you don't know what this is, I'm sorry, RIP. But these are so, so helpful. The minute I discovered these, I was like, what a great invention. They're so, so useful to have in your pencil case. This I got from Wilco as well, and it was only £1.75. The next thing I bought was this mini stapler and mini staples from Wilco as well. The stapler was for a pound and the staples were for 50p, so I got these for £1.50. I just thought it looked really cute and also I was watching some YouTube videos and quite a lot of people were saying it's really useful to have a little stapler in your bag just so you can keep your documents together. And then last but not least, I got this pack of post-its. These were also from Wilkinson's. They were only, I think, £1.50. I use post-its all the time to revise and to write myself reminders and stuff like that. So it was really important that I bought some. I also ordered a personalised diary slash planner to keep track of dates and add important notes and all of that kind of stuff. It hasn't arrived yet, I ordered it online. I will place a link for the website and the design that I got in the description box. And all the prices and names of everything and the shops will also be in the description box. Thank you so much for watching my video. I am starting my first year of university, if anyone's wondering. And please subscribe to my channel if you could. Thank you.